we often hear about bias in the media. It's important to remember that this is not a new phenomenon. In fact, the early media was explicitly biased. That's because newspapers were often funded by political parties. The thing to remember is printing was really hard. Printing presses were these giant pieces of equipment, and you had to set each letter by hand, put them in these really heavy plates, load the plates into the machine, ink them, put paper on, and then lower this really heavy thing to basically stamp the whole page, then raise it and do it again and again and again for every paper being, for every sheet of the newspaper, for every one of the papers published. This was hard, this was physical labor. Then you had to carry the newspapers around. And so it was not particularly efficient, which meant it wasn't a particularly cost-effective enterprise. So parties needed the press to get through to the public, like we talked about with the prisoner's dilemma of the media and politicians' relationship. The politicians really do need the media to reach the public. So in the early days, the media was couldn't really exist without Party it's then supporting the media, saying, okay, fine, we want you to publish about us, so, you know, we'll, we'll make sure you can stay in business. Problem, of course, with this is that if a party does badly, they're probably going to be like, yeah, we don't want you as our editor anymore. We're, we're going to hire someone else who does a better job. They also might not then have enough money if they're doing really badly, right? Not enough donations, whatever. So it's not a great business model. It was the best they could do. But once steam power and this rolling printing press where it's these barrels that ink um, and then you just cut the pages, that made things much more efficient and much less expensive for newspapers to print their own papers. So ultimately, papers broke away from parties and towards this more reliable, less partisan business model. But while it might be less partisan, it is still somewhat partisan, and if you're interested, we've got another video on that.